Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and I'm confused. Man, this freaking malware bites thing will not stop popping up. I get it, dude. So uh, anyway, uh, this is the Outhousers. How do I describe the Outhousers? Imagine if someone said we want to rip off Bleeding Cool, but just so much worse. And they're brainstorming like, how do we do that? They're like, let's uh, let's only upload like one article every like 27 hours. They're like, oh, that's good. They're like, here's something that's original. Let's have sarcastic titles for our articles. So anyway, uh, um, you know, uh, they just had the big uh, pogrom. Uh, Eddie Berganza's got let go from uh, DC. Uh, just a quick uh, five years after he did the stuff that he got let go for. There's all that stuff with Harvey Weinstein. So then this stuff comes out. And I've read this article, all of the article, twice. I don't know what's going on. So it's called, with industry focused on Eddie Berganza, Marvel hires Ron Richards. Okay. <laughs> I guess I have to, I didn't get anything from that title. Um, so, with all of comics focused on DC finally firing Eddie Berganza, Marvel used the opportunity to hire Ron Richards, a VP, managing editor of New Media. Richards comes complete with his own set of baggage, including alleged abuse, alleged sexual harassment, and alleged hostility. What about, like, alleged ennui? It didn't take long for Twitter to weigh in. I'm going to stop right there. I think I've told this story before where a couple of years ago when people used to refer to black Twitter, I actually thought it was a completely different application. Uh, I didn't know it was just black people on Twitter. So this isn't Twitter weighing in. This is the uh, Church of the Perpetually uh, Offended. These are the high priests of the SJW religion. And uh, if you're on Twitter for long enough, you start recognizing these people right away. Here's the thing about all these people. These people only talk about allegations. And the thing is, you're going to see there's no actual allegation in these allegations. Um, so, uh, Greg Thielen. Ron Richards is a serial abuser and harasser. So Marvel basically just hired their own Eddie Berganza. Okay, so, so this is the part where we get some proof. Uh, Ron Richards, for example, by Jennifer de Guzman, uh, who's... Flipped out on me a million times. Ron Richards, for example, was relentlessly hostile to me when we are co-workers. And I tried to keep off his peace. Yeah, I totally believe that because you've always been... No, you've always been the shit stir. All you're ever doing is making allegations against someone. I also said consciously, you don't know much about me either or what I've done. But I acknowledge I have probably done some harm. I... Okay, thank you for your confession. And then Kate Leth, who is... Uh, she, she's so SJW, it's almost like she is an SJW. It's like she's just like this, like, generic actress from, you know, L.A. And then she got cast in, like, a three-line role in an episode of Big Bang Theory. They're like, okay, we're going to dye your hair pink. We're going to sh shave the side of your head. And we need to, you to say that to everyone you're bi and a vegan, even if they don't ask. Um, so she's like, seriously? Seriously. All right, then. I guess we'll wait three years for the BuzzFeed article on this one to make a difference. Or you could just say what his supposed crimes are right now. The deal with this Eddie Berganza thing is that supposedly everyone in comics knew about this stuff five years back and almost no one said anything. You guys, we've established this in previous videos. Comics pros, especially SJW Comics pros, like to always talk about the toxic fan, the dangerous fan, the legion of evil customers. But what we've seen over and over and over again is pros attacking each other, harassing each other, abusing each other, maligning each other, uh, everything. The only threat to pros is other pros. So if you're not revealing what it is, you're either a liar or you're a coward. There's no third option. So then Nick Hanover, who I'm embarrassed I say used to live in the same town with this guy. This guy's another pill. All he does is make allegations. I've been told by multiple people over the years that Ron Richards is an abuser and has a history of making women in the industry deeply uncomfortable. What? 
Abuse is making someone uncomfortable? If that's true, I, can, I have a civil suit against like everyone on the E-Train. Okay, so anyone who wants to talk to me about him in more depth, please reach out. Okay, so what you're basically saying is, I've been spreading rumors about this guy and I really don't have anything. <laughs> so if you got anything, please share it with me because this is literally all I have in life. Uh, at least one of Ron Richards' former partners has made public statements about his abusive behavior on Twitter. So this isn't coming from nowhere. Wait, he was abusive on Twitter or they talked about abuse on Twitter? See, this is where that thing called proof, which I've been told is misogynistic and the patriarchy, this is where you'd give it. That you don't just get to make allegations. There's no details to these allegations. This literally could guy could just be like a close talker if you ever watch Seinfeld. He could be a guy who just strikes out a lot but is completely respectful. Like, uh, then we get Donna Dixon. Oh my, like Donna Dixon. She's one of my first videos was her one of her garbage tier like BuzzFeed articles about why uh, everyone uh, every superhero needs to wear a hijab practically. Ron Richards is a known harasser in the comics circle. What the F, Marvel? Okay. Twitter just, like, doubled the character limit in tweets. You can get, like, 280 characters. If there is something to say, say it. So here comes Matt Santori, uh, who's photo cub. This guy is, like... It's like if there was a steroid to make you a purse puppy, and he was just ODing every day. Um, uh, so he, I think he owns a comic shop. He's like flamboyantly gay, but like annoyingly gay. The way other gays would be like, can you go over there? Uh, but they're like on a vehicle and they're pointing outside the vehicle. Um, I swear to God, this isn't take a penny, leave a penny at Marvel. Why would you hire Ron Richards, a known sexual harasser now of all times? Okay, so now we've upped it to he makes women uncomfortable to he's a harasser to he's a sexual harasser. This is what we call escalation. And yet we've never seen any evidence or even a vague description of anything he's done. Oh, wait, we're going to get to it. Get ready for the coup de grace. Get ready for the frickin' money shot. This is Janelle Aslan, uh, Gimp Nelly. Janelle Aslan is kind of like a proto Anita Sarkeesian. She kind of wore her welcome out. She could have been like the biggest SJW milkshake girl ever, but she wore her welcome out with pretty much everyone like two years too early. Um, so uh, check out this devastating. Uh, okay. Ron Ricker Richards is a shitty human who once told me that by calling attention to representation issues of image that I was, quote, hurting your own cause. And that's the least of it. But the rest are not my stories. Oh my god. That's it. That's it. Hurting... That, that isn't anything. This guy could be a saint. None of, none of you guys have described anything. Every, every accusation they've made about him, they've made against me. Jennifer Guzman's called me a serial harasser. The funny thing is, the only people who don't uh, get that appellation are like the people who do, a couple years later, you're seeing them on the news. Oh, it turns out this guy in video games, a uh, uh, male feminist, has been abusing women for uh, 337 years. Oh, also hashtag he's a vampire. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> the uh, there is a witch hunt. And the thing is, uh, they're never sated. They uh, chewed up uh, Eddie Braganza. Evidence seems to indicate he was. Someone who should have been fired a long time ago. Why DC did it? I don't. I don't understand. I talk to friends. It doesn't make any sense to anyone. I don't think it made sense to freaking Eddie Burkanza. Um He's just like, hey, I just got to pay the rent. Um, but uh, Eddie Burganza could have, should have been fired five years ago. From everything I've seen, the thing is that you got a bunch of people who are just they don't have it. Like they don't have. I was gonna say gumption. They don't have a spy in like they're they're desperately trying to not be attacked by each other while reporting each other who is attacking them in their jobs where they inexpertly and inconsistently make 32 grand a year with no health insurance like it's uh, it's ridiculous so then we get all the garbage tier uh, 
uh, world's biggest pimple ads. Where is that? No, I see it. I just see different ads on my phone. So uh, then we get to the freaking uh, comments. And again, this is like, so never ready. It's like, are these guys for real? Seriously, has nobody in Marvel's hiring department paid any attention to the news over the past month? It has to be the height of stupidity or hubris to hire anyone with a whiff of questionable behavior right now. Surely there are people out there without this shit in their background. Why the hell aren't Marvel or Disney looking for them? Because there's nobody who you Google today that doesn't have some kind of accusation against them as seen uh, by... People like this, the usual suspects. For three, four years, they've been trying to do that thing where they put your name, they put an accusation, so they're like, haha, when somebody Googles this name, they'll see that, and they'll think it's true. Well, now, it's like when they do that, you know, uh, there's been a breach, and Target uh, gave away your, your consumer info. So many places have been breached, like everyone's had their info out there. It's, it's all out there. So the reason a hiring department can't Google for Accusations is because everyone has accusations these days. Freaking everyone. Um, so yeah, I thought there was going to be more, uh, but anyway, I'll just wrap this one up because I had a I had a, a fun idea. I'm going to do this one. So tell me what you think about this. I mean, have you heard anything, anything about this? I there, I have no evidence this guy is anything other than just some regular dude who fell afoul of some far left ideologues who have this obsessive need to destroy people. There's no there's no actual description of anything. Oh, no, 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 no. One time he, he said that, uh, he said that um, bringing attention to representation issues was hurting your own cause. Damn. Okay, so anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe, make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone given to the Super Chat and uh, Patreon, you're funding original content, and I'll have a bunch more. Vi I got so many ideas for videos, dude. Oh my gosh. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.